Hi everyone, it's Linda Kanase with iCrafter. I'm waiting a few seconds. Um, let's see if it goes live here. We're just waiting, just gonna check to see if everything comes through. It says it will. Well, it's telling me it's gone live. It's not showing up as going live. Why does this work sometimes and not others? I am waiting for it to go live. Um, hmm. oh, the other thing I need to do is, well, it's not, re it's recording, but it's not going live on my YouTube studio. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and start this, and I will do it on a replay, um, post it as a replay. So, first off, I just want to say welcome. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I think everyone's going to have to be watching on a replay. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I'm Linda Kanase with iCrafter, and I just want to announce as well that this is the um, this is the last time I'm going to do a lunchtime with Linda live. Uh, there's a couple reasons, but there will be a lot more um, content that I'm working on, and I want to give quality content. So some of it will be just a matter of um, I'll still be here. I'll still be doing a lot of projects, but it won't be live. So I just want to say that while I'm here. And today's project is going to be um, to celebrate the Lunar New Year, Chinese New Year, uh, Year of the Tiger, which was really exciting. Had to think about that one. I'm going to try one more time um, to see if I could get this set up. And I don't see anything going here so I'm just going to continue on and again this is going to be recorded I apologize that it's not live uh, but hi everyone so again I'm talking I'm doing a tutorial on how to make the box pop um, well, let me show you. I'm going to show you what it's supposed to look like. I'm going to turn the camera down. So this is what it's supposed to look like. This is the Box Pop Lucky Cat die. And watch this. When you push down in the center, it folds flat. So you can mail it, right? And then when you push it together and hook it, it now is a dimensional piece. So that is where we're starting with, and this is the um, the Japanese cat where it waves its little paw in beckoning, welcome. So this is what I came up with for the Year of the Tiger. So there is my little tiger using the same dice uh, of the cat. So this is what we're going to make today, and again, he also, or she, also folds flat for mailing. But there is some um, additional pieces I did to make this into a tiger. And that's what I'm going to share with you today. So let me set this aside. And what I'm going to start with is the Box Pop Lucky Cat add-on piece. And it's called an add-on piece because you need this Box Pop oval base. And this is a shape. This is the main die and you need this main outer piece to create the box pop, any of the box pops. And we have about, I think, seven or eight add-ons. 
So this is the uh, Lucky Cat add-on, our uh, one of our newest add-on shapes. And this creates this cat and the words good luck and then a lot of accessories for the cat. So let me show you what I did. Okay, so first off, I cut two of the main shapes and you want them to be um, uh, obviously two identical pieces. And then I cut one of the cat in orange. Well, tiger, sorry. Tiger in orange. And I also cut the tiger, well, I'm gonna say cat because it originally is a cat. The cat in white. And if you can see, there is this shape that I drew up, which is the belly of the cat, uh, tiger. So I will post a template of that shape on our website or on the, I'll post it somewhere, <laughs> I'll let you know. But this is a shape that I'm going to cut out to make the belly. And then there are a lot of little pieces in here to make the paws. And then there is, and this is the piece that makes it into a tiger. And let me show you, we have this die called the Animal Prince. And it has these shapes. You can make a snake, a leopard, or a tiger. So this is the tiger die that I'm using. And here's actually the die. And those are the shapes. And I, I will explain what I cut out here so you can see that in more detail. And the only other thing that I used was the alphanumeric heather lower. It is our heather alphabet. But this is the lowercase set that works. We have also an uppercase set, but it also has these numbers. So that's how we did the year on the front of this uh, tiger project. So let me go ahead and I'm going to start by building the base, the box pop base. And this is the same way for every box pop. Uh, design that we have. This is just the base part. So there are several crease lines that go across and I will use the, this is our eye press burnisher and it is really nice because it has a flat end like a bone folder on one side and then a ball um, um, burnisher on the other side and it comes with the foam pad so that you can use it to shape paper flowers but it's wonderful for creating these really nice creases and you do want to have some crisp creases that's hard to say but crisp creases to make this um, so that's one do the exact same thing and you want to make sure that you work when you do this you do it identical. You do both of these identically. So you have down here. You see they're a little different. This has a notch. This side doesn't. So you want to make sure that you do this. So both si so both pieces have the notch on the same right hand side as you do this. You don't want to flip it over and accidentally have the notch on the wrong side. It won't work. So that I'd say that from experience. So. So I'm just folding these. Okay, now I'm going to use some liquid adhesive to attach these. And what we have is this little tab right here. Can you see that? We're going to put some adhesive on that now that we have everything folded. And you place it down, you fold this under, and you just fold it flat. See that? It just folds flat, you turn it down, and you fold it up against this longer part. It's really hard to see on this black, but I will try to hold it up. So let me show you, I'll turn this one over. Oh no, I'll leave it this way. And you have this flap here. You want to put adhesive there. And when you glue it down, you want to glue it like that. So this flap, 
is now folded down. Okay, so that's what I did over here. I'm going to do the same thing over on this one and maybe a little slower so you can see how this glues a little bit of adhesive there. Fold it down and then fold it flat so it now adheres down there. Okay, so that is most of the base done. Now what you end up with when you straighten it out, watch this, you get a half circle. So you could kind of see where two half circles are going to make the oval. I should let this dry a little bit more. So you want to make sure you have a very strong adhesive when you're doing these. I'm going to set this aside because now we're going to make a tiger. So this is the shape, and again, I will post a template to show how to make this. I am cutting across the bottom. Now, when I say bottom, let me show you. It is this straight line to this straight line, because that is a flat. So there, so I cut off the bottom of the tiger, and now I'm just going to hand cut this because I am just, like I said, I'm just changing this into a tiger. It was a little ki um, kitty cat. So I'm just following this line and the top of it goes above its nose, be around his face, and Just following that line around. I'm doing a little more carefully. And you can go back in and I'm just erasing any of the line marks, pencil marks that I have on that. Okay, so now that's the belly of the cat. And you can see there's embossed lines there that show up when you die cut it. So I'm just going to attach it back on aligning all those um, crease lines. You'll see the crease lines on there as you assemble it. So you just want to line up like the paws so everything kind of comes together in the right place. Okay, So there's our little tiger belly. Next I want to add the Pause. Now what I did, okay, so the thing with the pause, and I just noticed, I think I'm missing a piece here. Pretty sure, yep, I'm missing an orange arm. Let me, okay, so Basically, I cut all these pieces. I'm going to stack them, and I cut uh, two of each, I believe. Oh, it looks like three. Three of each, so that it adds more dimension. Um, and there's three paws, so, but I need to, I need to cut the arm. So I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to actually cut it out right now. So let me move this aside, grab my die cutting machine and my die and find his arm. So this is the piece that is the arm. I need... I'm using our um, iMotion machine, which is not out yet, but will be soon. Some orange cardstock, and you can see where the tiger came off from. And basically, I want this larger arm. If I could put that in there, this larger arm in there. So I'm going to 
place it down like that. And this is our pro deck. So this is our self mendy pro deck. And you'll see how nicely this goes through. I'm sorry it's shaking. It, oh, that is the problem with having the camera on the same table as what you're cutting up. Oh, oops, it's all falling out. I don't know if you can see that, but this is the piece that we need. So I'm going to cut a couple more because I need a couple more. <laughs> so let me go ahead and just at least cut. I'm doing three of the other paws, so I'm just going to cut this three times. So I'm going a little slower today because this is a really um, detailed kind of project. So here's two arms, and I don't know if you could see how smoothly this is cutting. These pieces just drop out. And so does the die. So I'm going to cut it one more time and just show you how smoothly you don't hear any creaking. You do see shaking. I apologize for that. That's on the camera. So you hear a little clicking, but other than that, it's as it's passing through. And I'm just going to pull. There's the other arm. So I don't need all these extra pieces so and this is our oh <laughs> trying to get that die piece off okay let me set this aside so what I'm going to do now that I have all these pieces sitting here I'm going to start stacking these um, and it's just a process of I just want three of everything, just to add dimension. I kind of like the idea of adding some dimension to the paws. Um, let me go ahead. I'm trying to figure out, make sure I have the right shapes coming together. They're very similar, I admit. They But when you stack them, you will see that they have the same color or same um, shapes. So again, I'm just going to stack them up. And and obviously, you could do this much quicker than I'm doing it but I'm just going to stack them and then straighten them out. So they just have a little more dimension to them. Um, you don't have to do this. I just, while I was working on it, I just thought, well, the, the tiger would have paws that stick out. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Now, I just, I don't know if you saw that, I just put liquid adhesive down and stuck them together but it gives me time to smush it around a little. So that's what I did. And now I'm going to just do his other arm. And I keep saying his. Uh, it could be a female. I don't think. Um, I don't know enough about tigers. If their coloring is different. But. I know I don't want to ever meet one in real life <laughs> so okay so now we're going to go back to this tiger to the main shape and you can see and I need to move these little pieces away because they keep catching on my arm okay so you can kind of see the little there's a little marking where these shapes come through um, what we could do is you have a choice you could either put the adhesive on the piece or you could put it down on the main part. I'm going to put it on the piece on this one 
and I'm just layering the tiger, building it up right now. Okay, so you could see how the arm having three extra layers looks really cool. And then his feet are going to go this way. And like I said, the bottom paws look very similar, but they are slightly different. There's one. There's two. Okay, so there are the paws. <clears throat> Next, I'm going to add... I didn't do this one, I'm sorry. This one needs to be done too in layers. So I'm going to add a little bit of glue. I'm going to lose it. Where did it go? Okay. You guys saw it, right? Ah, there it is. <laughs> it has gone into my glue holder. So I'm going to set that down there. And this is where having, oops, having these um, eye grip twe eye crafter tweezers comes in really handy because they hold just like an extra pair of hands when you they are reverse, so they will hold when you're not pressing on them. It's really good for um, if you have any kind of uh, uh, arthritis type situation. So, okay, so I'm going to add this to the tiger's paw. And again, you can see the little bit of dimension really makes it stand out there. Okay, so now we're going to have the have the fun part of doing the face. Okay, this is just the, there is the face, there is, this is just, I'm just going to lay these as I can. <laughs> I'm going to try just going to lay these pieces down and I'm using my eye press burnisher to lift these pieces up and I'm actually I prefer cut some extras Okay, and I'm just laying it on top right now because what I can do is now add a little bit of glue. So there's the little face. Can you see that? So we're going to... I'm just adding a little bit of adhesive to the face part. Oops, I got a little adhesive on the wrong side. And now again, there's markings on here. So, I'm going to add it down there. Move it down a little bit. And you can see I'm having... And now I'm going to use my eye click die pick to shape it exactly the way I want it. Now this little piece right here is the nose, if you want a pink nose. You know what, I did not add the pink nose. I didn't like it that much. Um, on a, a cat, it's adorably cute. On a tiger, not so much. So if you're doing a cat, it's great. If you're doing a tiger, you can 
leave it off. And again, it's just that little pink tab on the nose, a little point on the cat's nose. Um, so, okay. And again, I apologize that the, sometimes YouTube live works, sometimes it doesn't. And it's probably something with my software. Uh, everybody talking to each other, I guess. But don't know. So now I'm going to do the eyes. That's a little too much adhesive on there. But And this is a nice thing also about our iClick die pick is that you can remove some of the excess adhesive if you don't want to leave any um, little bits of glue showing. And this time, what I'm going to do is try to do a lot less glue on this. Okay. didn't succeed the best but and here's where you want to move the eyes around a little bit till you like the way it's shaped there is a marking on the um, some crease lines on the die itself the orange part but you could shape it any way you want so there's most of the tiger done it still looks like an orange cat which isn't so bad. It's really cute. So here's where we get into the tiger stripes. Now what I did, and I will show you, I cut it out twice. Okay, so once I cut right side up, and then the second time I cut it and flipped it. So you can see this is the back side of the die cut. Can you see that? And this is the front side. So what I did is I taped all those pieces to hold on the back so that you can see which pieces exactly I used from the, the all of these little stripes, pieces that I used to make the tiger. So this is just an example and I will also it sounds funny, and it would be funny to see if you didn't understand what that's showing. But that just shows which pieces I used to make the tiger stripes. So, these are all the little pieces. And I'm going to just lay them out like that. And show you what I did. So, and this gets a little, you know, something kind of a routine kind of thing that you want to Kind of do as you go. So what I'm going to do is, you know, this was for his face. One goes that way. One goes this way. Oops. Um, the longer stripes. One goes this way. And you can see, basically, all I did was because I cut it. In both directions um, you have a different shape okay and this is going to be for his arm for his arm okay oh and this is like the top of the head so I just kind of placed them so I could see where I'm going with them and now I'm going to start with the first part and this is on the little tiger's face a little bit of adhesive here. I'm going to move this off. So, kind of coming down here. And I'm kind of pointing this piece right there towards the eye. And you can have it hanging off because we're going to, looks like mutton chops. We're going to, <laughs> to uh, trim that off before we're done. So, So you don't have to panic too much about what that looks like. So now, 
what we're going to do to do this one is we're going beneath the arm because we just want we just want a little bit kind of downwards and you can see the eye is a little too close to that I didn't follow the um, markings on the tiger itself to get that so it's a little close but you can see um, these little pieces are going to be on his arm now I could have done this where I put this on the arm before I um, glued the arm to the tiger because it would have been easier to trim off these pieces but I didn't and so I will trim them after I'm done now this is the exact same piece these two pieces but one is flipped and it just adds a little variety when you flip it like that. Now, I didn't put glue all the way to the end. So now, when I get my fine scissors, I could go back in and trim this before I go any further. So where the arm, again, you could do this before you add the arm, glue the arm to the body would be a lot smarter so I may as well do the face because he kind of looks funny with the this is just a thing where you trim off these extra pieces as you go and you could see how that looks much better without the mutton chop look there next I'm going to add a little bit of the striped part to his legs okay now I want this to go a little bit onto the white but just off slightly and again I'm going to trim off that extra part and this is the same piece but backwards so you want it somewhat symmetrical okay. and I'm going to add that to this part of his leg and that will also be trimmed off okay. so the other piece and I don't think I cut extra pieces but you would need these two pieces again to put on this arm so you actually need four of these. So I'm going to trim off the back. So yes, there are extra. Actually, you could use these pieces that I'm trimming off to do the other arm. I might do that. So let's not waste any pieces. So I'm going to do, like I said, two pieces here because because I did two pieces on the other side, so I want to do two pieces, again, kind of symmetrical. So you see that arm come together, and I'm going to trim off the back. So there's his arms. Now, when I was working on this, I just I realized that the little tiger needed a little bit of stripes on the top of his head. And so I did this piece. Can you see that there? And I thought, how cute would that be? Let's see. If that's the stripes going across the top of his head, just like that. Now I can Cut that off and adjust this a little bit. Again, I love my tweezers. So, kind of looking like Elvis right now. <laughs> so, I'm going to trim off the top, but I've just added a little bit of adhesive up there to do his stripes on the top of his head. And I'm just going to cut that off. So, there. So the tiger, 
his eyes a little crooked, but the tiger is basically done. So, let me go ahead and move these pieces aside because they are annoying me and sticking to me. So there is our little tiger. Now, to next thing I'm going to do is bring these pieces back and we're going to assemble the tiger into our box pop, okay? So what you want to do is, <clears throat> to do this part, you wanna make sure these pieces, the center piece, you could see that, is downwards before you glue him in there. Um, there is a reason, if you do it upwards, it gets kind of weird, it doesn't work as well. So here you can do, dry adhesive or since I have my liquid here I'm just going to do that and you just want to put adhesive on this back square or rectangular panel and that is going to attach to the center or into this flat piece right there and you will see that the this rectangle is aligned with the top of the part of the base so that the tiger will show up right in the middle there you could see so he's attached right now now we have the tiger sitting there it's attached to one side we are going to add some adhesive here and you want to make sure you add adhesive to these hooks that hook and that hook okay as well as the whole panel. So you want to just go across. And this is, again, for the wide open parts, you can do dry adhesive. But to make sure you get these hooks, you want to use some liquid adhesive for that. Now you could lay it flat again and lay this right on top and align the hooks because that's really important and actually I would also suggest using liquid adhesive for this because it does give you again a few seconds to smush it around kind of thing so there we have you can see we're sticking that together let that dry for a second and now we have these side panels and there is a crease line see where that notch is there is a crease line so you do want to fold that down and now there's same thing reverse on the back side okay so we're going to glue that together we're going to add some adhesive on this flap that we just Fold it down and we're going to press it together so it holds okay and this is kind of a critical um, you want to put a, some good adhesive here because you want it to hold together same thing I'm repeating it put it on this little flap here fold the flap down and then adhere it to the other side so it's basically completing all the adhesive uh, holding this whole box pop together and then the final part we're going to do is do the year on here because this is the year we're celebrating the year of the tiger so we have 2022 now to to glue this on, well let's I'll show you this real quickly. So now when you have it all nice and flat, when you push in, so both of these sides push inwards, it comes up, and then you just hook those notches together right there. And it holds it. And now you have the tiger that sits up in there. So now we're going to glue on the year, and it's easier, 
it's easy to do it this way because it's you can lay this flat now just to let you know when you do something like this you want to start in the middle of the whatever you're gluing down because it's a little bit easier to center it and no guarantees that I'm going to get this perfectly right but because there's four digits here I know I'm supposed to be slightly to the left okay and you kind of want to start building outwards from that you just choose one one letter or whatever that you you want to start with and then you work your way out so okay and of course I have to do this in gold because it's for good luck and So I just keep working my way outwards from the center. Okay, so there's my 2022 on this. So it's nice and shiny for good luck. And there's my little tiger in there who comes popping up. And I squish them together and letting the adhesive dry a little bit. And that is how you turn a cute little kitty cat into a cute little tiger. So this is for the year of the tiger. And I'm going to switch the camera over right now. So just wanted to say um, happy Lunar New Year starting February 1st, I believe is the Lunar New Year. Um, and it is the year of the tiger. And so it is, there's a lot of um, stories and good luck and things about the tiger that are so interesting. So I just wanted to share that. And again, um, this will be my last um, Lunchtime with Linda live. But don't worry, I'm going to be working on a lot more content in a lot more detail um, so that I could share this with you. It'll be on our website um, that will have templates and information and clear instructions on how to do these things. So um, please watch for it. Uh, it will take a little time, but um, that's the thing that I'm, I'm working on right now and so excited about doing for our channel and hope you all enjoy it. So until next time I see you, which will probably be our um, beginning of the month when I launch new product. So uh, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being there with me along this journey. And I'm not going anywhere. Uh, I will see you on our uh, website when I have new content. 